Oftentimes, when setting up a WordPress website, you will need to update the footer text. Today, we'll be looking at four different ways that you can edit the footer copyright text on any WordPress website. So the first website that we'll be having a look at, if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here over on the left, we have the copyright footer text. And of course, we want to update this to 2021. So if we head on over to our WordPress admin, one way that you can update the footer text on a WordPress website is by heading on over to Appearance and then clicking on Customize. Now, of course, all WordPress themes are quite different, and that's why we're exploring four different ways to update the footer text. And in this theme, we have a bunch of options here on the left-hand side, one of which is footer. If we go ahead and click on it, we'll see the footer copyright text here and we can simply go ahead and update the text. Once we're done, we can go ahead and hit the publish button. And if we head on back to our page and refresh, we'll see here that it's been updated to 2021. So that's one way that you can update the footer text on your WordPress website. We'll have a look at another website here. And again, same thing, we need to update the year. So let's head on over to the WordPress admin. And for this WordPress theme, we'll be updating the footer text in a widget. So we'll go Appearance and down to Widgets. And you'll see there are a few different footer widgets here. There's actually, if you scroll down, there's footer column one, column two, column three, four, and then footer text. It's the footer text that we want. So if we expand that and expand the text here, we can go ahead and update the text. Of course, then go ahead and click on save. And if we refresh our page, we'll see that the copyright text has been updated. There you have it, the text has been updated. Okay, so the third way to update the footer text, we scroll all the way down here. Now this footer text does have the right year, but let's say we wanted to add something to it or perhaps change this link, we can definitely go ahead and do that. So again, let's head on up to the admin. So for the two previous examples, we headed on over to appearance and then selected customize and widgets. For this theme, we're going to head on way down to the theme panel. Sometimes it's also called theme options. And we're going to look for the footer settings. You can also usually access the theme panel from the top navigation from within your WordPress admin. So again, click on footer settings. And by default, we see the style settings. So you know how many columns, colors, fonts, that kind of thing. So we'll go ahead and click on footer bottom bar. And of course, this setup and the options that you see here will vary from theme to theme. But if you do have a premium theme, you'll probably see something along these lines. So as you can see here, this is where you would update the footer text. So for example, if we wanted to add a little bit of text here, we can. And of course, we go ahead and click Save Changes. And if we head on back to the website and refresh the page, we should see the new footer text. And as you can see here, we've got that little bit of text applied at the bottom there. Okay, so that is three different ways that you can update the WordPress footer text, kind of from within the theme options and the settings. But depending on your theme, you may not see any of those options at all. Especially if you have a free theme, things can be a little limited and you'll have to update the footer text within the actual code. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's say for this WordPress website right here, we weren't able to update the footer text from within the options or theme settings. We'd have to go to the editor. So if we exit out of this customized area here, and then again, under Appearance, we'll click on Theme Editor. 
And the theme editor section of your WordPress admin will give you access to a bunch of the WordPress files. And the file that we're looking for in this case is the footer.php file. Oftentimes it's just called footer. In this case, it's called theme footer. But either way, go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, we now have access to the code and we can update the footer text this way. And you may be looking at this thinking, okay, but where on earth do I update the text? Like what part of this do I update? And I'm gonna show you a little trick. If we head on over to our website, right click and click on inspect. An inspection window will open up. Now I should have mentioned that I am using Chrome for this. Now, if you're using something else like Firefox or another browser, you definitely do have development tools available there as well to kind of do the same thing. But in Chrome, we'll go ahead and click on this little arrow here, which is the select tool. And then we'll hover over the footer text and go ahead and click on it. It's then going to outline it here for us. And as you can see here, we're looking for this set of words here. So what we can actually do is double click on it and copy it. And then head on back to the theme editor within our WordPress admin. And if we hit control F or command F if you're on a Mac and go ahead and look for that, you can see that it does exist here within our footer.php file. So again, if you weren't able to update the footer text using those three methods that we covered earlier, you can certainly replace everything within this div here. So it'll be everything from here all the way to the end of the div tag. So if we delete that, we can go ahead and enter our text. So let's go ahead and test that out. If we head on down to the bottom and click on update file, and then refresh our web page. You'll see here that the copyright footer text has been replaced with our custom text. So to quickly recap, that is four different ways that you can update the footer copyright text on your WordPress website. Again, we went appearance down to customize was the first one. Widgets was the second. The third was the theme options or the theme panel. And then the last here, we went under theme editor, clicked on the footer.php file and updated it manually. For more tutorials on how you can customize your WordPress website, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.